They say that something like 80% of the American population wants to write a book, but only 20% or so actually writes a book, meaning finishes a manuscript, gets it published, holds a book in their hand. And it wasn't that long ago that I was in those ranks. I had written some short books. I had ideas for long books, full-length manuscripts, but I had just written short versions of those books because that was all I could seem to get done. I would uh, have ideas. I write nonfiction primarily, and I would have ideas, and so I would write uh, book proposals, and I would compose a couple chapters, and I would send out those book proposals to literary agents or to publishers, and then I would wait for uh, a response. And uh, in the meantime, I would go on to other projects, and I'd write another book proposal, or maybe I'd self-publish something short that was related. And, uh, you know, this happened for many, many years. And that sense of not ever finishing what I started, or maybe not even starting on an idea, left me feeling really frustrated and uh, kind of ate away at my self-confidence. I knew that I could write a book, and I knew I had good ideas, and I knew that I wanted to be a published author, not just an aspiring author. An aspiring author is someone who aspires to be published, but isn't yet published. And uh, I knew that even though I had self-published uh, and was an author per se, that that I really uh, wasn't that full-fledged author I wanted to be. And I had dreams of being a traditionally published author as well. Um, I was a traditional, pub traditional publishing holdout, as I like to say. So uh, this really bothered me. And, and I know for a lot of other writers, uh, they feel the same way. So that was how this idea was born, you know, when, when I knew that for how to blog a book, um, I knew that I had to promote, that I had to build author platform, and this was taking away from my time writing. I had to be on social networks, I had to be out speaking, I had to be doing all this other stuff to make myself publishable, marketable, I had to be a good business partner for a publisher, and even if I self-published, I had to do these things for myself so I could succeed, and it took a lot of work and a lot of time, and I saw that bloggers were landing book deals, kind of left and right, and without even trying, they were just you know, blogging away, building a readership, and becoming successful, and agents and acquisitions editors were offering them contracts. So out of that came this idea that the same methodology that I was applying to, uh, to a book proposal uh, could be applied to, uh, to planning out a blog and a blogged book and that maybe if I were to just write my book on the blog, I could build a readership and at the same time that I wrote my book, and that I would have this accountability of showing up on the blog to produce the next installment. And sure enough, that's what happened. I spent five months or so writing blog post after blog post of my book, How to Blog a Book because I decided that was a good idea, and I would tell people how to blog a book, and they could write, publish, and promote their work at the same time. And sure enough, in five months, I completed a full-length manuscript. And I already had a literary agent, so I was a step ahead of the game, but I was able to uh, get that book into a book proposal format as well, and to send it off to some publishers, and lo and behold, I landed a book deal. And my first book was born. My first traditionally published book was born in full-length form and was then published. And I became a published author. So uh, it was out of that frustration of, you know, how can I actually get this book written and do all the things that you have to do to become a published author at the same time? How can I do all that? How can I build platform? How can I get the, find the commitment to actually write my book that this book was born. 
and I was able to promote and to write uh, all at the same time and to actually publish the first draft on my blog. And that's how this came about. That's how my first book came about. It was out of me struggling with how can I get this first book written? How can I go from aspiring to published author and do everything it takes to get there? And lo and behold, my little idea seems to have worked, and it's working for some other people too. And that's really, uh, really an exciting thing for me to see that something that worked for me is working for others, because that's always uh, what I aspire to as well. It's not just being a published author, but through my work to help others as well get to, uh, you know, help them achieve their goals.